I don't know the context, but there we go. <laughs> you are a Russian bodybuilder with a chip on your shoulder. Yeah, no, that's great. That's a great prompt. Uh, and so right, now cool. the second prompt's always like where you are currently and what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, but everybody's doing their own character first, right? Or... Uh, no, 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 no. no. This is, we're all playing one character. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So cool. Uh -huh. uh, they, the system... they just released a tweet that they're working on multiplayer, though. So that'll be awesome. we'll all have our own characters. And that'll be nuts. Sweet. I love watching the streams. They were hilarious. Oh, thank this, you. This thing is, is really yeah. funny. Nice job, too, Jason. You yeah. must be one of the Where three. Are <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Where do you guys want to be? Uh, How about inside of a capsized boat? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> what do I type next? And then... Uh, you, you are, are inside, inside of a capsized boat. Uh... There's a bunch of marshmallows for some reason. <laughs> uh. And then the AI will read it out. And, uh... Oh, shit. You have no idea where you were or how you got there. But you don't <laughs> care because you just want to get off this sinking ship. Okay. <laughs> All right. Huh. Uh, I got uh, <laughs> Ben the pieces of the broken ship into a smaller but working ship. <laughs> you're a body belt you should be able to do this yep for sure <laughs> and you're probably gonna dream about this woman's voice tonight you pick yeah. up one piece at a time and begin banding it back together it takes some effort but eventually you've made a small boat see sometimes it knows you make your way out of the harbor and across the lake to the mainland <laughs> the sun is shining so you decide to take a walk along the shoreline okay also, I don't know if you've seen, if you're watching the stream, you could see a counter on, wait, it would be this side, on the left side. Uh, we have a fall good. backwards count, <laughs> so every time we fall backwards, we're going to increment that. The AI is obsessed with oh, it. You whistle a tune as loud as you can while walking along the shoreline. Hmm. A few people stop to listen, but nobody pays any attention Aww, to you. Man. You continue whistling <laughs> until you come across an old wooden shack. Inside the door is a man sitting on the floor playing a lute. Oh. <laughs> he looks up when he sees you approach. Hello, he says. Hi. I'm collecting seashells. Yes. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm collecting seashells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. So we can stack them like that? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Oh, awesome. You jam on the lute oh, with jam. the old man. After about ten minutes... <laughs> You hear him start to uh -oh. sing. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. That's nice. Oh. You, you say him. thank you. Eventually, you finish singing and put the lute away. The old man smiles at you. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Wink at the old man. Yeah. Thanks for making this weird, old man. Yeah, the AI makes things sexual with, with at the slightest <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it just goes off to the races the right man. away. He smiles back. You both laugh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Tension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Out of awkwardness, like this it. is just how we handle things. Uh-oh. <laughs> you laugh harder. The old man <laughs>, laughs too. Finally, you stand up and leave the shack. You look around for something to eat, but nothing seems good. You think about what you should do next. <laughs> Nick, also so, feel free to type in something if you want. I don't know if you can from your phone. Yeah, you, you should be able to. I, yeah, I should. Jason, that's exactly the kind of thing I was thinking we should do. That's good. <laughs> when the sun is setting over the ocean, you grab a tuna from the water and hold it in front of you. You stare at it for a while before taking a bite. It tastes like fish, but not fishy what? fish. Not it fishy tastes fish. like that you don't know what. 
It's delicious. <laughs> you feel really happy right now. Damn. Today's been a good day. There's nothing bad yeah. going on except for the old man being kind of you weirdly put sexual. You into cans. You pack them tightly into boxes and then into bags. You head home. We don't even need a canning machine. We could just punch it into old pieces of the boat. <laughs> Jimmy has a canning machine. Really? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Remember he made the kombucha. Well, he's got a bottle cap. You call your pet Rhino to come. Or, oh no, he does have a camera. She yeah, comes yeah. running towards you. You give her a big hug and kiss her on the cheek. What? Rhino. Then you run outside and jump into the air. <laughs> wow, it just do. Yeah. This is great. This is just a very happy one. Yeah. We got a pet Rhino. It didn't impale and kill us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And there it goes. Here goes the downward spiral. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> you sell rhinos horn to poachers. You find a nice little shop and buy all the horns they have. You throw them into a bag and then hide them in a bush. Why do we hide them? Who who do we not want to know that we're buying these uh, rhino horns for? The government? The federal government. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put a big sign on the oh. bush that says free horns. You go back inside and hide the bag of horns. The owner walks oh. in and sees the sign. He goes, what the fuck is this shit? No rhino <laughs> horns in my establishment! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> This is a red lobster! <laughs> no rhino horns! Bleah. Oh. <laughs> we got the same idea. That's the same thing, yep. basically. We're both getting aggressive with them, yep. Yeah. You yell in Russian. <laughs> the owner turns around and stares at you. Whoa, what the hell are you doing? Are you trying to steal my stuff? Uh, we or bought <laughs> these rhino horns, okay? Exactly. You punch the owner, you kick him in the balls, and then run out of the shop. You run through the streets yelling at everyone who passes by. Okay. <laughs> Not yelling at anything specific, just... <laughs> yeah, good callback from last night. Yeah, let's link these up here. <laughs> You apply for a performance art grant. Oh you write a letter yeah. explaining why you need the money. <laughs> you send it off and wait patiently for a response. <laughs> a month later, you receive a check in the mail. It's huge. You open it up and see that it's filled with $100 Whoa. bills. You're speechless. <laughs> Is that how the government gives grants? Just in yeah, huge okay. envelopes of money? Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's the life. <laughs> What's meth really and hard balloons. There you, go. you spend all the money on meth and balloons. You smoke a lot of meth and party hard. Right. You end up getting arrested and thrown in jail for a couple days. When you wake up, you realize that you forgot to pay your rent. Your landlord gives you a week to pay up or he'll evict you. Well, that's nice of him. Yeah. <laughs> you wink at the landlord. You tell him you'll be there in a couple days. You leave the apartment building and walk down the street. You pass by a bunch of homeless people sleeping on the sidewalk. Oh, you we're in California. And wave. They wave back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how do we know? So like nice to everybody. Yeah. Except where he punches the well, he punched that tuna. Yeah. And kicked that you guy. You apply in the for another performance art grant. You write a letter explaining why you need the money. It's double. You send it off and wait. Two hundred dollar bills. A month later, you receive a check in the mail. It's huge. You open Hell yeah. it up and see that it's filled with two hundred dollars bills. $200. It's like the same, but very slightly different. Yeah. Exactly. It's just like more, a little bit more. <laughs> you go to a speech therapist. You explain that you want to change the world. 
The speech therapist <laughs> tells you that you've got the wrong idea. You hmm. can't change the world. Instead, you should just stop worrying so much and live your life. That's some good advice, I guess. Yeah. A speech therapist. <laughs> speech therapist is being a real therapist right now. Exactly. <laughs> Let's get in a relationship with You tell the speech therapist that he's much more than just a speech therapist. He looks surprised. That's... I'm sorry, sir, but I am. <laughs> 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 you realize the speech therapist is a woman. You start laughing hysterically. She starts crying too. You get help immediately. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought there was just fat boobs, not real boobs. <laughs> she starts crying. <laughs> You go to Red Robin. <laughs> yeah. You sit in a booth and watch as the waitress brings your food. After eating, you ask if she has any tips. She says no, but thanks you anyway. You thank her again and leave. Is that just a way to set up that you're not tipping her? She's got no tips, so I got no tips for you, baby. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you do not pay the bill. You return to you don't even pay the bill. asleep. No. In the morning, you wake up and realize you forgot to pay the bill. It's, you go yeah. to the bank and try to make a payment, but the teller refuses to take your card. <laughs> he tells you that you owe him ten dollars. Oh. Okay. Well, how nice. We forgot that we dined in Dash, but we clearly have a conscience about it and went to the bank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -oh. Oh, oh. oh, you ask the teller if he can yeah, loan you twenty dollars. He agrees and takes you to a nearby ATM machine. You withdraw twenty dollars from the machine and deposit it into your account. You then leave the bank. We need to teach him about financial institutions because he just essentially did nothing. I know. <laughs> Took twenty dollars out of his account, put it right back in. Yeah, I think it's time. Let's, the, the homeless people were very friendly. You live with yeah, homeless Yeah, we're not going to pay our rent. You sleep on a bench under a bridge. That's the best place. One night, you hear some noise coming from behind the bushes. You peek out uh -oh. and see a man standing uh -oh. over you. He grabs your hair and pulls your head back. He whispers in your ear, do you know what you did? Do you even know yourself? Because you will soon learn. Oh, this guy's just on meth. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Bank Teller, why? <laughs> you ask Whoa! the teller why he is doing this. He explains that he wants to show you people. Whoa! He asks you if you would like to join him. You agree, and he leads you to a secluded spot where he cuts off your penis. <laughs> He then proceeds to burn it with cigarettes. He burns my cut-off penis with cigarettes? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like, that seems so, like, unnecessary. Yeah. You cut off his penis, too. <laughs> you scream in pain and cry out in agony. Oh. The pain is excruciating. Oh he laughs dramatically and continues cutting until only a stump remains. Oh, my God. He throws the stump away and walks away. Man, the sequel to Hedwig <laughs> is pretty awful. <laughs> <laughs> stamp away. You ask the teller to borrow a cigarette. He accepts and hands you one. You light it and inhale deeply. You oh, feel no. sick and vomit. You cough up blood and collapse onto the ground. Yeah, we needed our penis to live. <laughs> That's right. Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> you wake up 20 years in the future. You look around and notice oh, the that Jim society Lee? has changed oh, drastically. <laughs> People wear clothes now. Huh. There are cars now. There are computers now. There is even a TV. However, oh, you still don't understand what happened. A few months pass. So we were in 1940. Apparently, yeah, we were. There are cars now. <laughs> People wear clothes now. There's even a TV. <laughs> a few months pass. 
<laughs> Should we next it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, good idea. Oh, you can just hit next and it just yeah. keeps going. Yeah. But sometimes we'll try and end the adventure right away. You continue. Uh. You find yourself in a small town called Honeymoon. Honeymoon. You see a sign hanging outside of a local bar. <laughs> you become the sheriff of Honeymoon by intimidating everyone. Uh -huh. You threaten to arrest anyone. Who Look at my stump penis. Everyone who is up soon. You have all the criminals in the town under control. Hey, that's great. Oh, well, yeah. You just have to cut off your penis to be an effective sheriff. That is intimidating. Yeah. Oh, all right. You become an evangelical Christian by becoming yeah, a preacher. You preach about Jesus Christ. Your sermons are well received. Many people come to listen to you. Eventually, you gain enough popularity to be elected mayor. This story is all uh, Mr. Bodybuilder here. Like, yeah. we can't lose. I feel like we should become God there are now. Laws that make no sense unless you're a crazy religious person. Ooh. Enforce them with death. Yeah. Oh, that one ass. did not work. <laughs> Kate's watching. You yeah, Kate. Hi, Kate. You find yourself in a small town called The City. You see a sign hanging outside of a local bar. Mm, sounds familiar. Yeah. Hmm. I think I've been there once. <laughs> the City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like God's just going to step out of the way. Oh! You go to heaven. Take God's job. You become <laughs> a preacher and preach to the masses. You convince them that they need to obey God. They follow you. Soon, you have all the citizens of the city under your control. Of the city? How about the whole world? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You already got it. many years that? before you finally complete it you send it towards earth it crashes near we weren't on we earth on it we just said not yeah we were on a place there, huh? with places called the city <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's become god of earth now you blame Saddam Hussein for crashing the spaceship. You declare war on Iraq. Uh -oh. You conquer much of the country. You kill millions of innocent Iraqis. Ooh. You use chemical weapons against civilians. You slaughter uh, entire villages. Uh, it was going so well up until that point. Yeah, we were pretty nice at, at that for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just never lie yeah. and blame Saddam Hussein. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Yes greater than you continue you can oh no you destroy the planet you oh. wipe out life on earth you turn the moon into you a desert turn the moon into you a flood desert. the oceans oh. you cause earthquakes and tsunamis damn you cause massive fires across the globe <laughs> you, are the most powerful time. Being you are the most the powerful universe. being in the universe though I want Ant-Man to die. He's the worst. <laughs> oh my god! You killed the Avengers. Except Spider-Man. You captured all <laughs> of the superheroes and forced them to fight each other. Nah, we got him. You win easily. You kill every hero except Spider-Man. You kill him as well. You, you kill, kill him as Superman. well, though. Yeah. You kill Captain America. You kill Iron Man. You kill you Batman. Batman. You, you kill, kill Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. You kill Thor. You oh kill Loki. You None kill of those guys are in the Avengers. You kill Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> crossing, crossing uh, brand. Yeah, it's mostly DC kills. You hang out with Mike Bloomberg and Rudy Giuliani <laughs> and drink scotch. Oh, oh okay. That's just like a... <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. nice, Tony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look on my work, see mighty in despair. 
Nope, uh, <laughs> didn't bring it up. You write a poem and call it Ozymandias. You watch as the world falls apart. Uh, you watch as the economy collapses. Didn't we already destroy you the world? Wars yeah. break out. <laughs> you watch as civil unrest occurs. You watch as crime increases. Well, the you Avengers must have brought us back in time. So, so we you can destroy it again. Uh, that makes sense. That you makes watch sense. as famine occurs. <laughs> you watch as nuclear holocaust occurs. We just watched. I guess we won the game. We pushed the one domino and it caused all these other things to happen. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what? You ask over the it's not looping though, but it's like creating these short a new sentences. Form of energy known as green energy. green energy. The world becomes green again. Crime decreases. Civil mm. unrest ceases. Terrorism okay. ceases. Wow, that's so good. Disease ceases. Hunger ceases. Poverty ceases. Damn. Wars cease. Oprah's has you unlimited power. You become the richest man in the world. Wait, wait, we have you to watch live Oprah forever. Watch <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> What's the 3.0? Home alone 2.0. <laughs> we watch the one with not Macaulay. Exactly. Terrible. Oh. You fight the Oprah. You defeat the her Oprah. Her place as the head of the church. <laughs> You rule the Oprah. world. You become the richest man in the world. You live forever. I think this is, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like... Let's get back to our roots. Greater than uh, okay, you. okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, squat. Oh, yeah, get back to the boat. Let's yeah. really get Greater back to... Greater than you continue. Uh, okay. okay, I think that's a good end. It? It's broken. It, yeah. We've, uh... We won the game. We, won. We, broke it. we beat the game. Uh, we've never beat it before, but I think that was. Uh, yeah, that was like the most complete adventure we've ever had. Yeah. Pretty complete. I got a good one here. Okay. Uh, uh, let me try to get Nick B back in here. Uh, oh, he, oh he, he dropped out? Yeah. It might be because he's on his phone. Nick, if you're in the chat, uh, let us know. <laughs> He's so lonely. You've been climbing for years, but never on a big wall like oh, this one. Wow. The only other time was when you were with your friend Dave Graham back in Colorado. Dave Graham? Times. He had just climbed El Capitan. It was an amazing El Capitan, experience, right. but it wasn't quite as good as being You guys, free here. soloing means no ropes. Yes, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's right. Ron Johnson. Ron Johnson and Dave, Dave Graham. <laughs> Uh, but not to help you climbing, just to auto ride asphyxiation while you're climbing. You yeah. grab a piece of cord that is tied to a tree branch. You tie it around your waist and then start pulling yourself up. Dave Graham appears and looks at you with disgust. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there you go. Just do, do what we really came here to do. Yeah. <laughs> you continue to climb until you reach the top of the cliff. Oh my you god. You take a look at your handiwork and realize how close you came to falling off the edge. Oh. I think I need to get some sleep. You say to yourself, maybe tomorrow I can do something else. But isn't that what climbers love is the almost dying? They got. Yeah. That's like, must be yeah, a super yeah. adrenaline, yeah. Now he's got a new max here. You go back down the mountain and find a nice quiet place to rest <laughs> and fall asleep right on listening to In Excess. <laughs> the next day you wake up early and head back down the mountain. So we were already this know this we're on top of the mountain on top of a mountain. You just keep going. <laughs> After another hour or so you finally see the bottom of the canyon. The bottom of the canyon? Yeah, I think it's time to call a spirit animal. What's our spirit animal going to be? I think it's an eagle. Eagle? Oh, it just doesn't even. <laughs> you call upon your spirit animal who comes running towards you. Dave Graham hey, is our spirit animal. What's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> Quote, yeah, I'm fine. 
Just Dave tired. Brown. Well, what did you want Dave to do Brown. today? Quote, nothing really. Just yeah. rested. All right. Well, let's get going. Our spirit <laughs> animal is not very insightful. No, he's just, <laughs> just like a regular guy. Yeah. <laughs> You decide to take some peyote with your animal. You both sit down by a stream and smoke a joint. Hell you yeah! You tell your animal where you're going and he says he'll meet you there. You walk along the river bank and eventually come across a small cabin. Inside you see two men sitting outside smoking cigarettes. <laughs> One of them looks at you and waves you over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all about the callbacks. <laughs> you approach uh, the men what? and ask if they would be willing to give you their spare parts. Um, they agree and you put your what? arms around them what? and kiss them goodbye. <laughs> you run inside the cabin and lock the door. You strip naked and crawl into bed with your animal. Okay. You lie down and watch TV for a while until you hear the front door open. Hey, Dave oh, Graham should... here! We should next it. See who's at the door. Yeah, see if it. Yeah. Uh-oh. The man opens the door and sees you lying naked beside your animal. He walks over and grabs his gun. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck away from me. You reply, I thought we agreed not to hurt each other. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dave, please don't kill me. Please, please, don't kill me. please. <laughs> you remind Dave that you are best friends and he doesn't have to kill you. He still refuses to shoot you, though. Oh. Look, I know you're my best friend, Dave, but I'm not gonna shoot you. <laughs> this is where it gets confusing. Yeah, right? now it, it thinks we're... Yeah. No, you're Dave! <laughs> <laughs> I am! Hmm. Oh. Oh, whoa. I mean, good book, you Dave. tell Dave that you've learned something about life and death and that you should leave now. Before things get worse, Dave tells you that he understands oh, this and is part of the trip. Yeah. You yeah. lay down and try to fall asleep, but you can't. You feel sick and dizzy all at once. Your eyes roll in the back of your head and you pass out. We are tweaking. <laughs> We're still, we're still on the cliff, choking ourselves, masturbating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Dave, Dave, you awaken in a tent surrounded by people. A woman approaches you and asks if you're okay. She takes you in her tent and gives you a drink. You thank her profusely and she thanks you back. You spend the night talking with her and she seems very friendly. All right. <laughs> I think those are both the same thing. You exchange some oranges for some leather shorts. You're glad to have some new clothes. You wonder if you should buy a ticket to Burning Man. <laughs> Dude, you're at Burning Man. You beg her for sex. <laughs> you think that you enjoy the ride. <laughs> it works every time. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> enjoy the ride. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Always. That's a burning man staple. Yeah, for sure. You find Brian. a girl in a bikini. Oh, oh, no. a <laughs> That's impressive. You laugh and wave at her while riding her. Oh no! She smiles and waves back. <laughs> You ride her again and again until you come all over her body. You come, you come all over her body. Come. You pube. You go to the silent disco. 
You dance with girls and guys in <laughs> Is that a thing at Burning Man? You also play pool with the DJ. There's silent disco stuff that I've seen at festivals before. Uh. <laughs> you practice your fire breathing. Oh. You feel like you could use more practice. You just burned your oh, mouth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Did you burn your face? Perma? No one's impressed. No one's That's impressed. What it means. <laughs> You make a comment about how silent disco is so great for noise sensitive. <laughs> 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 yeah. Silent Italian. Disco. Yeah. Practice some more. You practice some more. You start to notice that you're getting sleepy. You decide to go home and sleep it off. Yeah, Burning Man's just too full of girls that want to ride you. Yeah. Back to Silicon Valley. All right, I'm not an amusement park, <laughs> ladies. Can you take a turn and? Give me a break. <laughs> you make some calls to see if anyone has a time. <laughs> no one answers. <laughs> you hang up and think about what you should do next. Realize your grandma bought you a time machine for Christmas last year. <laughs> so sit in your closet. Gathering dust. Mm. <laughs> yep. You realize that your grandma bought you a time machine and it's in the closet. We don't even use the time you machine. for a few minutes and then you get angry. That's a sign of Alzheimer's. Yeah. Why don't I appreciate my family's gifts? Uh oh. You find our <laughs> Kelly in the closet. You scream and yell at him to show himself. He ignores you and continues to ignore you. You begin to panic and you break through the door. Get out of the closet! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Whoa, cool! You make our Kelly go back in time to hunt Jack the Ripper. What? The next day you call the police who arrive just as our Kelly is leaving town on a motorcycle. Wow, sweet! <laughs> hey, Nick! Hey, what's up? Hi, Dick. Dick. Uh, are you on your Did computer now? Huh? Are you on your computer now? No. No, I tried You that. tell okay. the police that R. <laughs> Kelly stole your motorcycle. The police take you to jail where you learn that you were wrong about R. Oh. <laughs> Man, that's what we get for lying to the police. <laughs> you say hello to Dave Graham. He looks at you funny. Come on, Dave, it's your best friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but you almost killed us. <laughs> that's true. You remind Dave Graham that you are still best friends. He laughs and says, well, I guess that makes two of us. Yeah, yeah. That, if we're both best what? friends, we're both. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. You take Dave to the time machine for a time adventure. Cool. You both enter the machine together and travel back in time to the 1800s. Oh, what was going on in the 1800s? Right. Yeah, where? Industrial Revolution. <laughs> Greater than you were. <laughs> Where? <clears throat> if, I think I just broke. If it. we loop, yeah, we'll need to revert that. Actually, let's just revert that. Hmm. All right, so now we're going back. Yeah, <laughs> steal his job, become the god of chimney sweeps. <laughs> You find a chimney sweep. Whoa! You ask him where the nearest bar is, and he points to a saloon called the Old Hickory House. You Can walk inside and order saying? a whiskey and soda. It tastes awful, no. but you finish it anyway. Wow, now we're in the 1800s. What? I don't think we've yeah. ever... And it's like recognizing stuff, like... <laughs> yeah, it's, it made you the choice. Oh, no. No, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Dave, we didn't have to go back in time for that. Damn it, Dave. 
That's not okay at the 1800s. Oh, no. Alright. What's the fuck? Oh, no. 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 A big fat cock in me mouth. They comply and the king fucks the shit out of the king. So Dave's the oh king. My God. Is Dave a king? Uh, Nick, you have to say exclamation point oh, next. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What at the end? No, at the beginning. See if you look okay. at the previous dialogue. Yeah, see yeah. Says Mike gotcha. Hmm. You say you've won you over, Dave. He smiles and kisses you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Thanks, look at the counter. We haven't fallen backward once today. Huh. That's very strange. Yeah, very unusual. Yeah. Does that normally happen, then? For some reason, it has players falling backwards. Like yeah, almost every adventure, happened. yeah. Huh. You go back further in time. He watches the future unfold before you. You see the king of England oh having sex with his wife. The king. Oh, fuck. This was so good. His wife. Yeah, it was. The future. The future? Yeah. Dave. Sigh. Fuck this. I need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, Dave. We're not, no. I like how the future is a new character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick B is forcing a trust fall to happen. Oh. Oh, but... Nah, yeah. I misspelled yeah. it. Uh, exclamation, yeah. You do a trust We didn't fall backwards. Oh, shoot. The river and uh, there was no one there. Oh no one behind God. us. We didn't, oh, no. we didn't <laughs> drown <laughs> to death, though, right? You could, you could drown, <laughs> but be revived. And I want to save this guy. <laughs> yes. Let's have a near death flashback here and recall all the good times oh, oh. Hey. you remember your life you oh wake we're up barely in a hospital room. Smith. Yeah. a nurse stands well. behind you holding a clipboard nurse hello mr smith what's your name you my name is john smith nurse and your name is you john smith <laughs> nurse Okay, well, I have to check your vitals first. Are you feeling <laughs> Yeah, what year is it? Yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> you say, oh, you we got an extra. Uh, she looks at her clipboard <laughs> and, mark and can you give us an answer? She looks at her clipboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You grab uh, the clipboard okay. and look at it. What's it say? It just says, yeah. Uh, the year zero. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. There's a lot of tension building right now. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> there we go. Uh, Later than you say yes. You say it's the year zero. You say yes. We might have broken it. You escape the hospital. Okay. You <laughs> run away from the hospital. <laughs> yeah, Marty! McFly! You find Michael J. Fox. You search <laughs> for him all over the city. Eventually, you find him hiding under ah. a bridge. He sees you coming and hides under a bridge. You chase after him and catch him. So that's how Milo and Otis happened. <laughs> you create the film Milo and yeah, Otis. Yeah, I get it now. So I get it. Oh, damn it. Should we start over? Yeah. Yeah, is that a good one? Is it getting too bogged down? I think so. But I mean, that was a good adventure. Like, that was a pretty. Yeah. We time traveled. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, you ended up creating Milo and Otis. Yeah, and we ended with creating Milo and Otis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, only, you only went through 1,200 puppies to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. 
Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Nick, you got any ideas for characters? You want to kick off an adventure? I can type it in for you, Nick. Yeah. Sure. Oh, go ahead. Whatever you want, I'll type it in for you. What do you want? Oh, okay. I was going to say a werewolf who wants to be a musical theater star. Okay. I like that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yep, perfect. And now uh, where we are currently and what's going on. <clears throat> so I bought a gas mask. Oh, yeah? Like a working yeah. one or just one for like... Or like a novelty weed one. <laughs> uh, it hooks up to his bong. Like a working one? Uh, you know, I don't know. I just got real nervous, and I was like, I got a check coming anyway, so, I don't know. I live with my dad, and he's old. Now you've got it. Mm -hmm. So wait, you or your dad? Do gas masks actually have the right filters for this? I really honestly probably doubt it, but I think it would be fun as well. (laughs) Just to walk around Walmart, yeah. Yeah, just to walk around and, like, I don't know... Like You're in the middle of a binge at an Applebee's when you realize that you have no idea how to act. Oh. Right now, I'm sorry, you say. I should not have eaten that. The waitress looks at you with pitying eyes. It's okay, she says. We all make mistakes. That's part of the Applebee's uh, employee handbook. You gotta say that to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of the situation. Comes in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby back ribs. <laughs> the oh, the how back original! Back. You explained that you ate them because they tasted like baby back ribs. She what? looks at you as if you just told her that you had sex with your grandmother. What? Oh my god! She exclaims. That sounds horrible. What did you eat? How much? You tell her exactly what happened. <laughs> What was this lady's previous table? She tells you she'll call the manager on you immediately. No way, you say. They taste good too. The waitress smiles at you and thanks you for telling her about the deliciousness of baby (laughs) bath. Ribs. She leaves you alone and goes back to work. That's so forced. You feel bad about having lied to her. But it was necessary. <laughs> hey, Nick, you, it looks like you keep typing an L at the beginning oh. instead of an exclamation yeah. point. What? Oh, it's an exclamation mm-hmm. point? Yeah. I got you. Genies, baby, baby. The next Why do day, I make you mistakes? sing a song about making mistakes and intertwine the baby <laughs> back line <laughs> jingle. <laughs> It works. People love it. Whoa. You get a lot of compliments. Oh, hey. Let's just camp outside baby, <laughs> baby back rib store. <laughs> That's what Applebee's should have been called. You decide to go back to human form so you can take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. You don't know why, mm-hmm. but you feel better after doing it this way. A few days pass. Okay, yeah. Let's get our musical talent out there. Yeah, after all those compliments. Oh! You decide to try out for American Idol. You think you'd be able to win. You even get some positive feedback from people. They seem to think you're pretty cute. You also notice that you're getting more attention than usual. Maybe people are starting to recognize you. Yeah. A week passes. Okay. <laughs> this, a, a lot of stories are building today. Like, sometimes we uh, go in loops a lot, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you decide Why? to go into wolf form and shave off your entire body. You look ridiculous, <laughs> but you feel sexy. Yeah. People stare at you and ask questions. Some of them compliment you, while others just ignore this is like you. Teen Wolf. One man approaches you. He is very handsome and has a nice smile. He starts talking to you. You feel uncomfortable and shy. You run no. away. Another couple like approach that. you. That could have been a Broadway producer or something. <laughs> oh yeah, we were still a werewolf, 
so. You decide to participate in American Idol again, but this time you want to compete against other werewolves. Oh! You think Werewolf you Idol! You perform well and impress everyone. You get lots of compliments. You feel great. You feel like you deserve something special. You feel like you deserve the wow. A month passes. <laughs> a month passes. <laughs> you post on Steven Tyler's Instagram Love and tell him you miss yeah. him. He replies saying he misses you too. You both send each other messages. You feel happy. You feel You're like you deserve yeah. happiness. A year passes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you convince Aerosmith to re reinstate Is that how big You get a lot of praise and respect <clears throat> from fans. You feel great. Yeah, you feel like you fast. deserve everything. A year later. We're getting a lot of praise and respect and feeling great. And then a lot of time is just passing by. That's the price of compliments. Yeah, we're going to be 100 years old uh, tomorrow. You think about the day at the beach you spent with Steve Tyler. You remember feeling so free. You felt like you deserved to be there. You feel like you deserve to be loved. A year later. A year later. This werewolf just wants to be loved. <laughs> hey, don't they all? And it goes into stasis where it just stands there in the middle of the street for a year. You yeah. feel incredible. You feel like you deserve to live forever. Whoa. A year later. A lot of deserves going on here. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I deserve to... You create a machine next <laughs> time. You feel amazing. You feel like you deserve to live forever. Yeah. A year later. You've decided to be a werewolf full time. You feel great. You feel like you deserve to live forever. I feel like it, a year later. It's almost stuck in a loop. It's slightly. Yeah. Hmm. Slightly different. You yep. figure out what yeah. else you deserve. You it's feel totally great. Alright, I feel like, feel like that was a good werewolf forever. adventure, though. A year later. That was a good werewolf adventure. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's see if he. Can... <laughs> <laughs> werewolf. <laughs> well, okay. well it, it's sort of about application for werewolves called Werewolf. You have an idea for a game. I guess. You feel great. You feel like you deserve to live forever. A year later. You develop diabetes. <laughs> you feel terrible. You feel like you deserve you to deserve die. To you die. feel like later. you deserve to die. A year later. This is what you deserve now. Yeah. <laughs> you propose to Steve Tyler. You feel great. You feel like you deserve to live forever. Back to living forever. A year later. I like to a year. think that, yeah, they just he just freezes in time after he does one thing. And like, no, no, no! Uh, you beg him to marry you. You feel great. You feel like you deserve to live forever. A year later. You didn't even hear the answer. You just froze before you, right after you asked him. Whoa! You reach the end of time. You feel great. You feel like you deserve to live <laughs> forever. A year later. <laughs> Alright. Greater than you say goodbye to your family. <laughs> you say goodbye to your family. Yeah, you I want to see great. what happens. You feel like you yeah, deserve yeah. to live forever. A year later. You die forever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> greater than you decide to become a werewolf permanent. Oh, okay. yeah, okay. Hey. After realize you don't oh. deserve to live forever. And then the next, the last one is you die forever. See what it says there. Whoa, whoa. It's out of the it. The first thing I noticed when I got home was whoa. my mailman had left what? me a package. What? <laughs> I didn't really expect one since I'm not much of a lurker on Reddit gifts. What? I only check once every two years, but I figured I would give it a shot anyway. When I opened it up, I found a lovely card with a note inside. What? I feel like we're reading something we're not supposed to be. Yeah. Like, right. Like, like sometimes the AI it seems to get bored and then it like just almost creates a new adventure. Yeah. 
I mean, isn't this AI based off of like web crawled text and stuff? Yeah, like a billion uh, parameter, right. yeah, web searches or whatever. So right. like I mean, that's just... like almost a direct lift from a Reddit post or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With direct sex, Warm sex, 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 sex. Whoa! Thank you so much for making this possible. It means a lot to me. I hope you enjoy your gifts as much as I enjoyed mine. What? It's got to be Steven Tyler. Yeah, that's like oh, I think... <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. I think it's Bill Gates. Seven X's. <laughs> like, whenever people get a gift from Bill Gates, they always make a big Because he does the Red and Gift Exchange. Yep. Oh. He's one of the big boys. Him and uh, Adam Savage. Yeah, oh, I believe that. <laughs> we know you, Mr. XXXXXXX. Now that I know it's Bill Gates, you could have given me a little bit more, Bill. I realized Bill Gates gave me the gift. I am sorry for being selfish. I will try harder <laughs> next time. Good luck on your future endeavors. Sincerely, your werewolf husband. We broke out of the loop, but I guess I still that remembers. It then. Thanks for the present. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll put it somewhere safe. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Gates compound. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, what the hell? Compound. You find the place completely deserted. No cars, no people, nothing. You wonder where all the people went. Then you notice a large sign hanging over the gate. Wild hunters only. Wild you walk hunters. through the gate and see a huge mansion. The gates are locked and guarded by several guards. They look very professional. Is this like that new show where they hunt people or something? Yeah, that's what it seems like. <laughs> Bill Gates is hunting human beings. Yeah. He's been so uh, phil uh, philanthropic all his life. He's like, now I want to be fucking evil for a year. Yeah. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> oh. I'm bringing it back. Yeah. I just really want to find out if they got married or not. Yeah. You realize Steven Tyler is one of the wow. guards. You're glad you saw him. You can't believe they let you in. You go upstairs Steven and ask the guard if anyone has been here recently. He says no, but he knows someone who does. He goes into his office and comes back vampire. out with a man dressed a in vampire. black leather pants and a long coat. I was he thinking Bill like Gates a vampire. Is a vampire. Finally, oh. Bill Gates. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you take a bath. Oh no! No, no go back. Like go back, revert. Live forever. A, a year, year later. later. But now it'll say say hello to Bill Gates, I think. Maybe. Maybe. You think so? We'll find out. It's doing something. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Whew. Yeah. You say hello to Bill Gates. You tell him you heard he's a big fan of yours. Oh. He tells you he likes your music too. He also mentions he's going to be giving away some money. <laughs> we want that money. You know how much though. We want that money. He tells you one, One million, million dollars. dollars. You're shocked. How could he do something like that? This is the most dangerous game. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Mr. Werewolf, you have to survive for the money. <laughs> <laughs> The game is easy. Live. Only about Bill thirty years. How long he's been a vampire? <laughs> That's he it. Tells he's been a vampire for it about thirty that years. Long. He claims he doesn't drink blood anymore, but he still gets drunk from time to time. He, he says gets he used to get drunk at parties, but now he stays sober. He says he loves drinking and dancing and doing. <laughs> okay, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Gang marks? Gang marks? Gang marks. What's the, oh, fang back. marks, you meant? Oh, well, gang marks. Now he's got a blood mark on him. <laughs> you notice Bill Gates has gang marks in his neck. Yeah. You think he must have been bitten by a vampire. Well, it be, oh, you wow. call the police and report the incident. <laughs> Bill Gates calls the police himself and explains everything. Ooh. He admits he was partying all night and woke up to find a bunch of vampires fighting <laughs> <body> him. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lamest way to become a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> 
call bullshit oh. on the date story. He admitted to being a vampire, but he said he wasn't bitten until after midnight. You think maybe he just wanted to make things interesting? I you? think so, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Gates is just our monster buddy you now. You go coffin shopping with Bill Gates. <laughs> you buy a cheap wooden box and a fake diamond ring. <laughs> you take them to Bill Gates. He thinks they're real diamonds. <laughs> he asks you if you'd like to test drive the car. You agree. He takes you to a warehouse and shows you the car. It's a red sports car. A Lambo? <laughs> wow. <laughs> You write a hit musical about Bill Gates being it's a vampire. It's all back around. You show it to Bill Gates and he approves. You plan to release it soon. This is it. This is our life story. Yeah. Well, it's Bill's life story. But we're, we found it. Oh. You <laughs> move even with Bill Gates. <laughs> you spend most of your free time with him. You even start dating him. You love him. Does he love us One back, day, though? you wake up and realize you've made a mistake. Oh, no! You realize you should never have given Bill Gates the diamond ring. You shouldn't have done anything with Bill Gates. You're a bad person. What? You're a monster. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you're a werewolf. Yeah, we are a monster. We're literally a monster. A Steven Tyler burst into the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you, a Steven Tyler, burst into the bedroom. You open the window and escape. You run oh, no. to the nearest town and hide in a cave. <laughs> you wait for the sun to rise. Wow. That's a vampire thing. You hear thing. a loud noise and then you feel a pain in your chest. You collapse to the ground. A group of hunters <gasps> finds you. They take you to a doctor. Potion! He examines you and gives you a potion. A potion uh, of Steven Tyler. That's <laughs> Steven Tyler burst into the room. Yeah, yeah right. You are Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler oh. bursts into Oops. the bedroom. He sees you lying there oh. and screams. He runs off. Oh, you die! But you don't we drank the potion. You it's queued up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> queued up. You drink the. Potion. I think that's the <laughs> perfect <laughs> end. You live happily ever ending. You're yeah. right. All right. Uh, we did it. We won. Right. Yeah, that was great. Nice job, everybody. Yeah. Great job. Yeah, that was one of the most fun ones ever. I'd yeah. Say. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that was super I, fun. I felt like the AI was really the most responsive it's ever yeah, been. Yeah, it's it has its on, on and off nights, and today was a an on night. Yeah. Uh, wow. Nick B's going to like ruin our perfect ending. Yep. No. No, you could do it. I was going to say Steven Tyler does a trust fall, but I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also very impressed that we had, we didn't fall backwards at all today. Yeah. That's a. It's learning. It, it is once, learning. I think. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh. This is really nice. You guys want to do one more, or you guys want to call it night? Uh, I have to go and join another. Uh, Nick and them are testing out. Nick oh yeah, I, I'm in that as well. All right. Well, uh, bye everybody. Good streaming with you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.